Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Fallout London. Yeah, we are just outside the Relay Tower Maintenance inside the Pindar, where we are chasing down some missing Tommies. Let's go inside. All right, let's go find those Tommies. And according to the... According to the marker... Not only do we have to go down, but we're going to have to go through another spot. Well, going down means we climb down this ladder. We. It's not that dark in here. All right, let's take a look at the terminal here. Security lockdown in effect. This terminal is monitored by Blue Desk Security. Your actions may be recorded. Attention all staff. Just a friendly reminder to lock all terminals and workstations after logging out. Standard security measures are in effect. Security doors are to remain in locked circuits. Please keep ID cards on your person. Project Director Marty Vega. Attention all staff, I am writing to inform you that next week is your senior director's birthday. We invite you to join us in the cafeteria to re in research testing on Thursday to celebrate. You can RSVP by messaging me by 4 p.m. tomorrow. Our mission. Currently viewing public news and updates are, are on our parent company, Challenges. Challenges, one, this is a long-term project. Continue funding through investors and governmental agencies are crucial to keeping this research ongoing. Thanks to our partnership with General Atomics, our software needs are met. Our largest financial obligation is to Turing. Their connection with Robco has been incredibly helpful and in by providing important technology for our data collection and autom automation. Three, your privacy is important. The data we collect is strictly anonymous and isn't specifically viewed by any employees. Our data analysis systems handle it entirely. Wait. Okay. Projects. Unable to establish a connection, cannot retrieve current projects list. List of previous notices. Uh, previous notices have been cleared. See reason codes. Reason code, data note. Per Josh, clearing out the old notices that aren't relevant anymore. See. Door, uh, yeah, door access issue. If you're having a problem accessing the door up top because the ID scanner isn't scanning your ID, then you'll have to call me. Probably an issue with the fuse box again. Might have to give it a kick. Thanks, John. Okay. Connection failed. Right, so... Not enough data and feeder to run. Note all three data pod containers are needed to run the, uh, the feeder. Operations manual. See categories below for operation instruction. Feeder status. The feeder can, can load in three sets of data containers. Three are required to function, but each can be unrelated to the other two. The feeder can take in any information and auto-sort it. The indicator on each page will report how many data containers are directed to the system. Data container placement. Data containers have a large handle on the top of the unit. This is used to tightly lock the data container into its stream socket. Place the data container into the loader guide with the handle horizontally. Lock the data container by rotating the handle 90 degrees clockwise. The data container will now be properly installed. Initializing systems. Once three data containers are properly installed into the feeder, the operation to initialize systems will appear. The system will have detected the proper installation of the data containers. When ready, select initialize systems to begin. This will engage the mechanical components of the feeder and run auto diagnostics to alert you of any errors for running analysis subroutines. Analysis subroutines. After initializing systems, the, the option to run analysis subroutines will appear. This will set the feeder into analysis mode to read the contents of the data containers. This process generally takes around 30 seconds to complete. It is also at this point that the auto-diagnostics would have alerted you to any detected errors. It is recommended to resolve these errors before proceeding. Results page. After successful analysis, the uh, option to review the results of the feeder's findings will become available. It is at this stage that the feeder will reset itself to get ready for the next input of data containers. In the meantime, your, the results page will be available to you. Select this option to review the reports. Errors and troubleshooting. 
The most obvious sign of detected errors will be the display prominently in the main feeder terminal's home systems page. Auto diagnostics will catch any system hangups and display them accordingly. It's recommended that a certified feeder technician be contacted to repair such errors. And... Yeah. So now you know what we're probably going to need to do. This place is a damn wreck. Maybe we should have the light on. Okay, that was weird. requires a level one security ID card. Okay, I have no idea what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. What am I missing here, everybody? Okay, I can stand on that. That's a little disturbing. Okay, I can't get through. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And I don't have the right ID card. Okay. Just say climb down. No, I said climb up. What the hell was that? skeleton around here? Yeah, there's a couple here. Is there perchance an ID card near the skeletons? don't know what's going on here, y'all. I don't know what's going on, and all right, let's get out of here. Okay, back in London, got to be missing something here. Is 
there an ID card I'm missing somewhere? I feel kind of foolish for not finding the damn thing. Let's do that and see if that helps with anything. Okay, missed a couple of things, but not what I was looking for. But once again, not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for, but nice to see. up there. I've, I hate that I've wasted half the video time just looking for the damn thing. Okay, so I'm having issues here. You remember what I read to you before about the fuse box needing a kicking, right? go. And voila. God, I was never going to figure that one out. <laughs> that was that was a pretty impressive puzzle, not going to lie. Okay. Okay, there's another container. Not very jazzed about all these uh, splody tanks around. Hmm. Alright, well, we still. Ah, there it is. Alright, we got all three containers. Now we just got to figure out where the hell to put them. I'm sure at some point that would uh, probably reveal itself to us. But until then, I think we're just left to wonder. book. Oh. Oh. 
found it. So we got to put all three in. Okay, let's fire up the terminal. Initialize systems. Relay errors detected. Auto response per John set as warning priority instead of critical systems nominal. Ready for analysis subroutines. Okay, let's look at the errors first. Preliminary diagnosis reported an error. Findings preliminary relay box unresponsive. Cause relays may be fi uh, fused due to an overload. It is not recommended to proceed with analysis subroutines. Actions repair relay box. Manager note, this error comes up a lot. Check the relays. If the relay box is on the fritz again, then you'll need to grab some new relays and pop them in. If it's if it's nothing, then go ahead and run the analysis anyway, despite the warning message. John. Okay. So now we need to find relays. Which also means be really careful about how you loot shit. See what's in the toolbox. Looks like someone knows their way around a lot. Hey, fusion core. Come on, buddy. Okay. And okay, requires terminal. All right. So I guess we use this to get through. Easy enough. Cannot initiate unlock commands. Reason feeders analysis subroutines are either on standby or in progress. For solution begin feeder operations. So I need to find the feeders. Or the relays. Well, here's a thought. So I don't know what the hell we're looking for. What we could do is save and then run the analysis subroutines anyway and see what happens. Now we wait. Disregarding warning message. Running down that analysis. Please wait. I guess this is probably a good time to remind you to like and subscribe and so you can get all the latest and greatest videos as they come in. You're going to hear that at the outro anyway. And uh, I take uh, I welcome any and all input so uh, feel, always feel free to comment down below and Okay. That was probably not the smartest thing to do. Uh-oh. The feeder has finished its analysis. Okay. <laughs> so we're just using all the systems to overload the systems. Got it. We save. I will say this though, it is awfully quiet in here on the critter front, and I know that's usually inviting trouble. Feels 
Mars Biblico. Yeah, all right. All right, kiddo, where you at? Run with. Yeah, but my shit's good. And if, in case you're wondering why I'm not equipping him, as a reminder, he only, he cannot wear adult stuff. He's not an adult. He's a kiddo. There is kid-based stuff out there. You just gotta find it. But since Archie is a pack rat, we're gonna use that to our advantage here. stuff that we normally would not be using. Hey, we got some rat axe. When did we get that? And there I am again being and, a, and we still have that Jimmy hat. That's good. Okay. All that's left are weapons and I don't want to clutter up his weapons right now. Alright, so before we pop Get all the information we can. Okay, that looks enclosed, so we'll fire this up. Oh, we still need that security card. Right. Okay, that branches off in two different directions. Let's go the other way. This branch is off in two different directions. Oh, wait, for good reason. That's the way we came. <laughs> okay, not going in that way. Okay, so that narrows that down. Down here. An overdue book. Well, we'll get to this spot in a bit. Let's finish up this room first. We got our card. Good. Finally. Not mean to grab that textbook. Mm, 
fascinating. Why don't we head back and look inside that? here. Save. Security level two. Oh, we're going to need that. That's up. It ain't worth its weight in tickets. It ain't worth its weight in your pocket. More than just tickets, buddy. Okay. While I'm thinking about it. No, keep that. Keep going, and I bet you that's level two security. And to the surprise of no one, this place is trash too. Let's get rid of some junk while we're in. All right, our first critter inside this lab, and it's a radrooch. Another red rooch. Yeah, that's fine. Way to show off there, kid. Okay, so we found our way forward, but we're not quite ready yet, mostly because we haven't finished looting this place yet. Alright, all that for just a microscope, huh? Archie! Oh, okay. Probably should not have done that. I know where we are now. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, now I figured it out. So now we need to go through into the next area. And so far, the only occupants we found are a couple of rad roaches. Literally, a couple. All right, to the research in it department. <laughs> All right, inside. Uh, what does that say? Acquire some evidence. Well, it looks like there's some evidence right in front of us. Okay, the animation here is pretty damn cool. Got no, it's got no ammo, though. I think. Shotgun, she who dares. Okay. 
Remember, this is hooligan country. Shoot everything that moves. It's a shotgun. It doesn't do much else. Okay. Nuclear winner. That would be the mod that I uh, installed that apparently turns things Dr. Hui. Makes the fezzes cool and. Oh, hey, we found John's terminal. And some wine. Let's see what's in the safe. Let's read John's terminal. This terminal is honored by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. New week, new clearing of old logs. Don't even know what week this would be anyway. Today was pretty uninteresting. Per usual, the feeder had another problem, typical of a Monday. The locking mechanism for the third data socket wouldn't engage. Also, Marty asked me to see her after work. Might be in trouble. Don't know. Tuesday, slow and steady wins the race. Marty actually wanted to thank me for all the hard work I do around here to keep things up and running. I was just joking about being in trouble. I don't really mess around here. Hi, Marty, if you're reading this. Anyway, today was slow as well. The master terminal threw up another error about being unable to re remote into the emergency terminal. This time was legitimate, though. The actual cable that connects the two snapped. I routed in a new cable and gave it plenty of slack. Cleared the error log problem solved. It's Wednesday and everything seems to have gone to hell. So much broken equipment stuff is just falling apart or slowing down progress in nearly all departments. I need more people. Didn't help that a rep was here surveying today. The relay box above the feeder room is just awful. For now, I've placed a straight up permanent ladder to get to it. Since the only way to actually fix it is to replace it. A lot of the time, the relay box sends false signals to the feeder terminal. Most of the time, these errors don't even matter. But it just takes one. There was also a reported reactor error, but, uh, but I've notified the General Atomics people to look into it, not to put out any other fires, John. Today was quiet. No feeder failures, no support tickets from any users. I feel like this is the calm before the storm. I messaged Marty and didn't hear anything. I say something strange is going on. I know these systems and their users. They always have some complaints. I guess I'll relax while I can. I don't even know how to start this log. Yesterday was quiet. Turns out it's because most of the people here have turned on each other. There were still no support tickets this morning, so I went to check everything myself. Even Marty, I saw her attack one person, and then another came up behind her with a tray and hit her over the head with it. I was about to intervene when I saw uh, those two people start attacking each other on top of Marty. I got back to my terminal here, initiated a security lockdown. All I can do now is wait for the military to get here. I can't contact them from here, and right now this is the only safe place to be. For now, I imagine. What the hell? Normally I'd be home right now, but I can't exactly leave. It's given me some time to figure out what went wrong, and I think I have an idea. Doing some routine diagnostics would not show any errors, but I found out that if I access systems that I generally don't get involved in, yes, I mean that corporation's tech instead of ours, then I get some results. Their tech is faulty, the piping systems, and the walls, floors, and ceilings are overpressurized. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they were leaking. Leaking what, though? If only I knew what was running through those pipes. At any rate, I can't rule out that my area is compromised as well. Plus, it's just a theory anyway. Can't even test it without the right equipment. John. Once active, the lockdown can only be lifted by emergency terminal A01. See master terminal to remote into emergency terminal A01. So I can't do it from here.
Well, I don't think... Yeah, I'm not getting in there. Couple of stimmies? Yeah, don't mind if I do. I hear a rooch back there. Okay, we're gonna save. Okay, things are leaning. That's not a good sign. This staircase goes into the muck. Yeah, just about. Requires a level three security ID. Okay. All right, so it wants us to go out. So I think we're probably going to leave it here because This video is starting to get along long enough, and also because I spent a lot of time just, uh... Huh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in, and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave, the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Fallout London. I'll see you all next time.